Well, as I said, time to get back in the saddle again. And a great way to do that is with a classic of magic. I am going to be doing Die Vernon's Twisting the Aces. It uses just four aces. They are real cards. Any beginner to intermediate student of magic probably knows this. Uh, for those who do, just keep keep it to yourself. You can PM me. But Di Vernon, he was one of the only people to fool the great Houdini. And the thing that he used uh, was so simplistic. Um, you know, a lot of modern day magicians can't believe that uh, Houdini... Uh, fell for it, but it's often the very easy that we overlook. When we try to figure out magic, we try to go to all these complicated um, things in our minds, and it's usually uh, much simpler than what you would think. Anyway, he is from Canada, born in the 1890s, and he lived to be in his 90s as he died in the 90s. Um, they call him the professor, and most modern day card men, and he did other magic cards was his specialty, um, know at least a couple of good tricks by the professor, Di Vernon, D-A-D-I-A-V-E-R-N-O-N. -A -A -E I know you don't want a lesson on him, but... He is an impact to a lot of magicians, and that's just my thank you to him. So let's hope that I do it right. All right, now, see, it's easy to take the top card and turn it upside down. See, that's easy, because you just flip it over like a book. Or you could flip it end for end like this and for end like that but what's hard is to make the cards in between turn over because you got the top card and the bottom card stopping that process so we do what is called twisting the aces hence the name and you'll see you get one two three four you get a heart that comes up you twist it again the heart goes down and it's the clubs. Watch. One, two, three, four. So we got a face up card, the club. We're going to take that club and turn it face down with the rest of them. Now, nothing funny. I do it very slowly. One, two, three, four. And that's the only card face up diamonds. Okay, now. It's the spades turn, so we're going to take all these cards and turn them so they're facing the right way. I want you to see, we got one, two, three, four cards. The spades hasn't turned up. Not only do we have to twist the aces, but we have to snap them three times. And then the last remaining ace turns upside down. And this is just a cool effect. It's classic. It's a classic in magic. See my maxi twist? You'll have to search for it. And uh, that's what it's based off of is this premise. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. God bless.